Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Plain View number two. It's been several weeks since we've been here. Today's episode is all about Huberwood. I'm in no capacity a paid sponsor or have received any special discount to make this video. This is just my experience as a builder using Zip System by Huberwood for the first time, and now this is my second build using it, and I feel comfortable now sharing the process, what I've learned, and how it's different from traditional plywood construction. So what is Zipwall? This is OSB. Uh, this is not a new product. OSB is an oriented strand board. It's made out of fast-growing, sustainable wood. It's shredded together, oriented, and then bonded with wax and glue. So this is a half-inch OSB product. This is what I use on the outside walls. And typically, before today, uh, I had been using half-inch plywood. I didn't use OSB. I felt the plywood, plywood was a little more durable, but um, I got put onto the zip system, I watched a bunch of high-end builders do it, and I said to myself, let me at least go look at the costs. And that's how the process started. Um, I, I weighed the cost versus regular plywood, uh, and uh, the pros and the cons of what makes this different than plywood and how we're actually saving time using this product. And uh, then we can talk about that next. Before we continue, I'd like to point out that I am not a framer. I have never operated a framing gun in my entire life, but I'm gonna tell you what I learned from the rep that I spoke to and discussing it with my framer, how to properly install zip wall. So as you can see, you've got the half inch panels on the wall. You'll notice the red colored panels on the roof. Those are 5 eighths thick. And basically, just like you normally would, you nail those panels to a two by four or two by six exterior frame. In this case, we did a two by six exterior frame. And you gotta watch the guns, the pressure of the compressor to make sure that those nails aren't being overdriven through the plywood or through the uh, zip wall, I should say. So that's the key. One of the key tips that I picked up uh, is to watch the compression on the guns. The next one is to tape the seams before you start installing any strapping. So this was something that I learned after the fact, and we applied that to this build here. And basically, you wanna tape all the seams and then make your penetration for the strapping coming up from the sill or for the strapping on the walls. And what that allows you to do is sort of have the tape act in a self-sealing type of way. It's not truly a self-sealing tape, but the idea is that you don't want to tape over the strap and then have the strap pushing away from the zip wall and applying pressure to the tape so that it, it either prematurely removes itself from the wall or allows water to get behind it. The key is to stop water before it gets in and that's the next thing we're going to talk about. So now you've installed your zip wall, you haven't overdriven your nails, you've taped your seams, you've installed your strapping as required by code. Now why go through all this trouble? Why not just install plywood, house wrap the house, and move on to the next step? And as a builder, we constantly battle between cost and quality. Uh, I have over time shown that you could spend a little bit more money, a little more thoughtfully during this phase of the construction and get that money in return. Uh, finishes are something that can always be upgraded, but the building envelope, the structure, the sheathing, the insulation, the frame, the quality of the lumber, these are things that are never gonna get addressed until the house is demolished and a new home takes its place. So the reason why ideally you go through all this trouble of using the zip wall, spending a little extra time with the tape, and I shouldn't call it trouble, I should say uh, a learning curve. It, there is some learning curve involved. You wanna make sure that the guys on, this, on the sites are using it properly. And once you get through that, once you learn the system, there's a tremendous benefit in the fact that as you're sheathing the house and taping your seams, you're watertight. You're gonna keep going on rainy days working on the inside even before you install your roof if you have your sheathing on the roof and you have your seams taped. You might be waiting for a strapping inspection, but you can keep working every single day and have a watertight structure sooner. Another benefit is that if you do it properly and you make the house watertight the way you're supposed to following all the other Huberwood products, you can skip Tyvek altogether. You can go right to siding 
and avoid that extra step, that cost, and perhaps work out a better deal with your framer or your siding guy by skipping that step and of course saving money on the house wrap itself. Now, the cost to me as a builder, and I do a, a reasonable volume, I don't build 30, 40 houses a year, but I build a few at a time, the cost difference is a couple of dollars a board. So if you add in the tape and the board itself, you're, you're roughly, let's say, two to three dollars more per sheet than you would just nailing half inch plywood on the wall. And straight OSB without that special coating that Huber puts on the outside is obviously the cheapest route, but to me is not acceptable. Not when you're building somebody a million dollar house. So that is essentially why you go through the motions of learning a new system and applying it, maybe spending a couple dollars more in the long run. But now, when I show this house, and especially, you know, hopefully we sell it during construction, and even if I've covered it up with siding and roofing, I can take out these pictures, take out this video and show you, hey, Plainview number two was built with zip wall. Can you show me the closest competitor here that built a new construction in Plainview and used zip wall? As I mentioned earlier, I'm in no way an expert. I've only used the zip system a couple of times, but this is definitely going to be something that's going to be worked into the majority of my builds going forward. Uh, and if you're interested in this kind of content, I made a very specific video. Logically, the next step is you got to install your windows after you've executed the zip system perfectly. And I made a very specific video about another one of their products with stretch tape and uh, how to make a proper pan for the window to keep water draining away from the house away from the windows, away from the zip wall, and draining, if there is any water, away from the house itself. So uh, definitely check out that video, at Pinnacle Real Estate is my handle on Instagram. And thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I definitely will be making more videos like this. Actually, I just recently had um, a very a phenomenal experience switching over to Advantech subflooring and their subfloor adhesive. So we're gonna make a whole separate video about Advantech subfloor, also made by Huberwood and their subfloor adhesive, which is uh, a new product of theirs. Once again, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel, leave your comments and questions below, and I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you very much, have a great day.